Howdy. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is of course Ginger Heat and I'm about to get into another whiskey review and can you guess where it comes from? If you can't, it's America, duh. <laughs> USA, USA. We're going all the way down to Kentucky and it's time for some mother bourbon. Let's go. All right, so right here we have Bullet Bourbon, all the way from Kentucky, distilled in two places, Lebanon, Kentucky, and Shelbyville, Kentucky, huh? <laughs> now, it's a nice bottle, kind of that old school look to it, gives us that old prohibition feel, and this is special because of the ingredients. It uses a lot of rye. It's mostly corn, but they use more rye than a lot of other bourbons, so that would, that's what gives it its unique flavor and you know that I like rye because I've reviewed a couple other rye based whiskeys before this of course whiskey EY because it's American and you see in America we like to use the E because we like to be different and you see I don't know if I'm doing George Bush or South I don't know where I'm going with that one but uh, there's a few other things to know the thing that makes this one special is the water nowadays you can make water at different pH levels with different treatments and things like that but back in the day the natural limestone filtration is what made the water so good and what is still making the water so good in this American whiskey. I'm excited to try it. I've never had it straight before. So we're gonna see exactly what this whiskey is all about. Why did pour it? <laughs> All right, so here we go. The best part, the tasting. All right, so. Mm. Nice color. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, you can tell it's 45%. <laughs> but it's very tasty. Right away you get caramel, vanilla notes. Really sweet, but then whew, that spiciness comes through. That power. God bless America. No, it's really good. It's a really nice whiskey. And I think this is a great option if somebody likes bourbons, you're not sure what to get them, get them this. Can't go wrong. Really good. If you want to have it straight, cool. If you want to have it on the rocks, good. If you want to have it in a cocktail, I think that's probably where this one lives its best days is in the cocktail world because it has that distinct rye flavor. You can put it with a bunch of whatever. You can have it in a Moscow Mule. You can have it in, a, in just a whiskey and Coke, and it would be really, really good. So you know if someone likes bourbon and you want to get them something, this is a good one. If you're not too into bourbons and you want to start, this is a good way to start, but it'll give you a little like fucking punch in the face, but it's worth it. Very good whiskey. I would give this a 3.75 out of five on the ginger heat whiskey scale. I don't know what to call it yet, but that's what we'll call it for today. If you like this whiskey, I'd love to hear about it. I'd like to know what you think about this one. And I would also really love to know what bourbons do you enjoy? What's your favorite bourbon? I want to try some other ones now that I'm getting into this and I need your recommendations. So leave a comment down below and let me know. And maybe one of these days I'm going to try it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, like, subscribe. I need that help. I'm still growing. And if not, at least the next time you're in the whiskey aisle, you'll think of me and my recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.